I saw you, I think you. it was a bunch of actresses, and you were talking, uh, it was a clip of you talking about how you didn't want to play any more sassy black maids or sassy black friends or sassy. It was the Hollywood Reporter Roundtable. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and you you spoke like I just it was just such a plain spoken way to address an issue, and you could see them look like I didn't know she was gonna say this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because when the when the interviewer asked the question, we all run, went around and had to answer. Right. Me. And the question was, what is it that you don't want to do? Right. You know, people. I don't want to be objectified by men. Right. I don't want to. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody had a list, and I just was like, well. Huh. One thing Here's mine. <laughs> and what a good point it was. I just, right. I, I, I'm not interested. I've done it, you know, and I'm, I want to play something else other than a sassy black something. Can right. you put a little more sass yeah. on right. it? No, 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 I sure can. Right. right. Yeah. Sure right. can. Right. And you shouldn't have to. Let me take down Hollywood Boulevard. You see that star? <laughs> I do not know who I am. They no, but I think everybody. that was a very important thing. When I saw it, I loved it because I felt, you know, a lot of times as black women, you get pigeonholed into being one particular thing. And, you know, you're so talented. Why do you have to play one particular role all the time? It makes well, no the, sense. Well, the interesting thing about that is that Hollywood was kind, but they were very clear in that you have a lane. Right. Mm. It was like you yeah, do yeah. over the nice top. To you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, over the top broad yeah. comedy. And they would not let me do anything else and even though i was like you know i want to try this over here no 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 right. we, we we got you right mm -hmm. over here mm -hmm. you keep doing that right you know and and we wanted to come with the neck roll and the finger point right. and all mm -hmm. of it right and i just was like i'm over it and i finally got someone to see me for a dramatic role right. and that was when i did getting on on um hbo right. and I ended up being nominated for an Emmy, and I was like, "See, told y'all right. to do it. I told y'all." Now you gonna roll your neck. <laughs> you gonna learn today. <laughs> you know, you went. You you've been on series after series after series. Now you have your own. That's that's a testament not only to your talent, but to how how fine people are of you. Because I know a lot of t talented people who stay home a lot too. <laughs> like you, <laughs> it's a lot of the talented people that can't. Seem to find the lanes to 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 keep their career kind of moving along, and you always have. You go from one thing to another, and that's that's. I don't think I think that's that says something about who you are as a as a performer and as a human being. Well, the, first of all, thank you, and second of all, the one thing that I will tell you is that I purposed. I, I've let me just say how I move. If I get a job, I'm going to make sure some other people I know eat because of that job. Right. Mm -hmm. And I don't care what it is. PA, assistant, right. director, you got music you can do. Right. Let me have it. Let me right. submit it. And so because I feel like I'm, I am I don't want to be selfish mm -hmm. in any blessing. Right. I want to mm -hmm. pay it forward to multiple people. Right. I just feel like the universe responds in kind, right. and it it just keeps nice. reciprocity circling right. around. Right. I like to keep young people around, uh, like I said, because I don't have to pay them. And uh, 